Good day, faith friends. I'm Elise Bendo from St. Therese de Paz City, and today's gospel is according to Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 to 27. My dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel teaches us to trust God in the difficult times. Jesus' powerful command is not just to calm the storm on the sea, but also to calm the disciples' fear. Through taking care of the troubling circumstances of life, Jesus was able to take away their fears and build their faith in him. He had not rebuked their weak faith simply to point out their weakness, but he had rebuked their faith in order to show a weakness that he was now about to resolve. My dear brothers and sisters, this becomes the powerful message of today's gospel. Even though there are so many things in life that threaten our lives and cause us fear, the more we know the Lord and His power, the less we will be afraid. Our prayer for deliverance from our troubles will be less. Less of fear, less of desperation, and more out of confidence. A key to unlock the fear so it opens into contentment is our worship and prayer. Sometimes that is all we can do, but it is not the last resort. It is our front line and our most important defense. It is our preparation for the weathering of storm. It will help us build a relationship with God so our faith Confidence and courage will grow. Those storms and crises will make us stronger and guide us to help others to get through them too. And when we fully learn to trust, we can obey, and it will build our confidence as we sail across the storms of life, knowing that Jesus is there beside us. We should have faith in the power and authority of Jesus. When Jesus calms the storm in the New Testament, we are encouraged today that God is also with us in the middle of storms of life. Today, as disciples of God, we should also strive to spend time with God and grow in relationship and trust in Him. That's all for my reflection for today's Gospel. Before we end this video, Please do like, share, and subscribe to our Facebook channel. Thank you and God bless.